against us. I expect it always is. I wish I were on it. I wish you were too. All we've tried to do is, 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 is play the play as it's written. We haven't tried to be gimmicky with it or to update it. We, I think all of us, and, and Howard, the director in particular, we've just tried to play what's written. You're even more ruthless than I am. I don't believe in crying over my bridge before I've eaten it. <laughs> Given that um, Lindsay and I come from similar backgrounds, I suppose the way we would approach it would not be from a kind of high style point of view, much more uh, aiming to find the truth of the characters and the situation. I think it's, it's lovely for audiences to see a world which is aesthetically pleasing, you know. And, um, but of course, if that were all that was there, it wouldn't really add up to much. And that's, you know, Noel Cad didn't just write people in gorgeous clothes. He, he wrote, I think, real people. When we were together, did you really think I was unfaithful to you? Yes, practically every day. I thought you were too. Often I used to torture myself with visions of your bouncing about on divans with awful widows. Why widows? <laughs> We've tried to be true to Noel Coward's initial intentions. Um, we listened to some recordings of Noel and Gertie Lawrence doing the balcony scene, and of course all you hear are, are their very clipped tones and the style, and I think often the productions are played for the style. But underneath that, you can hear them being very truthful and very emotional. And, uh, you know, as Lindsay has said, our director, what he found funny was when we played it true. What do you intend to do about it? That's what I want to know. What do you intend to do? I don't know. I, I, I don't care. I suppose you realise you've broken that poor little woman's heart. It's a real joy, really is, to work with people that you, you respect this much. And, you know, it's just great.